Oh God, it's a gaming headset. Sorry, air conditioner. You gotta go off now. So, I was contacted by Turtle Beach and they gave me a list of headsets and I'm like, can I have a really expensive one? And they're like, no, here's the Elite Atlas. And I'm like, okay. That's probably better that way because you sent me a $300 headphone, I'm gonna really dig in my heels and but for 90 bucks, I'll let some things slide. So let's see what I have to complain about. Because that's really what you're looking for in a gaming headset. You're like, hey, Zeus is going to complain about stuff. What do you think he's going to complain about in these headsets? Oh. Actually, it's supposed to do that. You can interchange the shiny black plastic finger. I haven't cleaned it. I made sure I didn't clean it. I mean, I wiped it once back in the day. But it just says Elite. It's a triangle. It's got four magnets, and underneath this, and they're on both sides, is the same thing. It's just, you know, more plastic, not fingerprinted Teracti plastic. And it still is a Turtle Beach logo, so the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to ditch these things. Because they just make the headset heavier, and since they're just plain Jane, I mean, I guess you could swap them with something. I haven't really looked into the selection options. But alright, that's gone, that's number one. Now, headset means microphone, microphone means microphone, luckily, detachable microphone. So if you have a desktop mic, or you want to use these as just headphones for like headphone things, you don't have to have a big stupid microphone hanging out on your face. Now let's look at this for a second, because it actually is really well built. Like, really well built. This is a metal uh, bend shield, so you can, you know, shape it the way you like. It is front facing only with a inserted foam guard. It actually is very good at noise canceling. I, I don't can't demo it here, but it, it it's a damn good, it sounds almost better than the one I got for the uh, from the airplane guy, the actual pilot's mic. So that's kind of nice. It's got different patterning, rubberized on, on top of the metal, so you don't bang it into your teeth. This is a two and a half millimeter with a notch, so you can't rotate it which I think is a benefit. I don't know, let's see. You put it in and that's it. You pull it out. There's no amount you can pull it out and then like rotate it away. Be kind of cool if you could just rotate it out of the way, but you can't. So once that's in there, it's in there. The headphone cable and plugs, luckily, for an under $100 gaming headset, good features. That, I don't know if you can see it, is a five pole. That's that many. And that's because microphones and stereo, and I don't, I don't actually know why it's five pole actually, because you can get most microphones with just a fourth wire. But we'll ignore the fact, and we'll just do a four. We'll just assume it's five pole for a good reason. Uh, actually, it might be for the mute, but then it would be down here. So we'll get back to the build of that. Let's continue down the wire. Here's your dongle box. Uh, volume control here. I don't really like volume controls on the wire. Yes, they're convenient for like gaming on your onboard audio, but these are the first point of failure. This will get dirty in three years and all of a sudden you'll have a channel imbalance, things will fail. But uh, of all of them, this is not bad because it's very tucked away. You're not gonna accidentally drag this on something. You got that, you got the mic switch, hot and mute. Boom, down to mute, little red sticker, low tech. Very low tech. And you see I have it plugged in to the 789 with the four pole. Now, you can do this or this extension, and it is an extension, has the four pole female here, and then a very wide, almost insanely narrow, like it's doing that thing. The Meze Empyrean did that thing too, with the wire, where it's two wires, side by side, so you can't really twist it. You can, but it's just gonna make us a locked loop. And this goes for like six whole fucking feet to a split where it becomes two wires again, and then you get your individual uh, light green headphone and light pink uh, microphone, so you can plug them into your sound card like that. So if you've got like an Xbox controller, PS4, whatever the heck it is, let's say PS4, Xbox One, they'll use the four pole right into the, right into the controller and everything else you use that. You can plug this into your phone if your phone has a headphone jack. Mine has the adapter, my Z2 Force has the adapter. And you can make phone calls with this and this microphone, which is actually really, really nice. 
if you're not just going to sit around playing games with it all day. We should probably now talk about if they're comfortable. Well, uh, I'm tempted to say for $89.99, you're going to have a hard time finding a better built set of headphones. And the crowd goes silent. Oh shit, did, you, did Zio sell out? No, let's have a look at this, all right? Let's look, all right, plastic, right? Not the shiny bits, we, we, we've already established those go away now. Go away now. So you get this, here's your, here's your height adjustment. Listen to that, like, only <clears throat> three positions. Lowest, mediumest, highest, that's it. So not a lot of adjustment. We could actually pull off the microphone and the wire for this part. So you get your three point adjustments and so not the greatest amount of adjustment, but uh, here's the hinge and there's your letter R for right. We're getting in there, hold on. This is very stiff. This is a very, it's almost too stiff. It feels super well built because it's very stiff. But you don't have to get too accurate with that because if you look around the cup where this goes from plastic to this material, that is a rubberized gasket that's sealed, like I could press on the inside of it. So it actually oscillates 360 degrees around that. And then you can take the cup off or the, the pad off, which has that little strap, which is designed, you can adjust this. You ready for this? You ready for some shit? Hold on a second, we'll get back to that. This little strap, you can pull this out and then pull this, and you see what it's doing? That's so you can lock it in place so that it pulls away the pad for people who wear glasses. Now look, I'm not a huge fan of gaming headphones and gaming headsets, but that's a problem for people with glasses. I know this because they ask me constantly, see this, I wear glasses, I need one that does this, and I'm like, well, fucking Turtle Beach thought of it. They figured out a way to put a little strap that you can loosen and tighten. Is there like a racetrack in my town now? You could actually pull back the pad permanently. So if you don't have glasses, you leave it the way it is, which is all the way out, like that. You do have glasses, you can pull this in. The, uh, uh, credit where credit's due, boys and girls, all right? I don't care, Turtle Beach sucks. Uh, no, no, that's ingenuity. So this one says left. Let's pull them both off for a second. Let's look at the pads, actually. Um, if it's a memory foam, it's a very fast memory foam. It's certainly, n it doesn't feel like just normal foam in here. Cloth, inside and fascia cloth, outside pleather, both sides have the uh, headphone adjustment strap, which is, and then, so now that we've got, we should look at this too, metal, very nice up here, anodized, fine, stretchy. Here's your pad that actually presses against your head. D decently padded and it's a comfort strap system. I do have a little bit of an issue with the wire that goes from this side to this side because it's right there. See this little black thing? That is an exposed, well it's exposed there and there, wire to go from one side to the other. So it comes all the way up, then whoop, ha <laughs> ha I'm through here, and then back down. So you get an actual decent headband, you get these very stiff wings, and then can we take a just fucking marvel at those drivers? Because I've touched them on a headset, and you know what, they don't really look good. Yeah, these are 50 mils. I wanted to double check that. They are angled. They are front, rear angled, 50 millimeter drivers. And they look a hell of a lot like Sony's. And they sound a hell of a lot like Sony's. Because that's the key here. So now I get that stiff turn. So you got to sort of find where your head is comfortable. Then this will take up the rest of the slack left and right and up and down. However much that is what you need. Where's my right? That's left. That's right. Just turn them in. Big wings, if you wanted to grab it by that, turn it by that. Fuck, it's super well built. 
not incredibly noise canceling because the the pads are pretty much open but i'm hearing a muffled sound and then when we plug them in which this is the five-way port because that's the real test isn't it boys and girls the zeos like how they sound because they look with everything off of it it just looks like it looks like a gaming headset still the turtle beach logo you can't hide it you can't hide these stripes you can't hide the big fins but they're comfortable they're light and then you play music ironic of course I have that in flack I'm Zeus Otis Taylor They have, the word is tonality. The word is like decency. There are very few gaming headsets, even the one mores, I had to like get over the fact of how they sounded because they were really well built. They were well engineered. They did that thing and they had like a crazy bass because woohoo. And then they lit up a stick and these sound better. You literally can't put whatever drivers these are in here. Look at the exposed 50 millimeter driver behind a very wide open cage. You can't put drivers like that in a headphone and then do something to make them sound shitty. These actually sound good. I'm giving a thumbs up to the sound quality of a Turtle Beach headset. I don't see any sharks to jump, unless Pasta dressed like one. But, um,. The, the low end right now, this is um, Mac Quayle, which is the guy that does the Mr. Robot soundtrack. This is reuniting F Society. And there's like a doo -doo 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 -doo, and there's a low end thump that is clean. Not boomy, not muddled, not, not anything else I've heard from gaming headsets. It's actually a quality sound. If you, if these are in another case, if these says Sigva on them, Sivga, Sivga, or Boss Hi-Fi, or f any other name, if these were Fostex, oh, Fostex came out with a new 50 millimeter dynamic, everyone will be on the fucking ground floor waiting in line, throwing money at them. $100, oh my God. But Turtle Beach has a reputation. I know, because I've been gaming for a long time, and it's always been Turtle Beach, Turtle Beach, Crappy Turtle Beach, Turtle, Turtle, Crappy Beach. So if I tell you they don't sound bad, I'm not lying to you, because someone's going to buy them, and they're going to come back here, and they're either going to confirm what I'm saying, or call me a liar. And I'd rather have that first part happen. Because I actually took these outside. I wore these in public, without the microphone, without the shiny plates on the side. I took them out. And I actually enjoyed just wandering around, listening to music. Piano solos. You're going to ask me about gaming. Give me a second. I did game in these. I'm not that big a turd. Dude. I still want to get over like the, um, like that. The Grand Budapest Hotel OST should not sound great, great out of a gaming headset. But it does. But it does, and it's comfortable. There's, yeah, fill me up. there's obviously comfort to this. Look at the size of the pads. They don't weigh anything. They got a good clamp. This top headband is a comfort strap with padding. So the fact that they sound good is just like, huh. So gaming, all right. Um, I gotta get into my elite hacks or speak. Hold on, bro. Shit be blowing up in my fucking zone man i was like on that guy and i was like da, 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 and i fucking my k to d is like 25. huh and then i said the beep the beep and then i got banned from the chat so that's how gaming goes secret to reviewing headphones especially for headphones for gaming or for music if a headphone is bad for music it's probably still passable for gaming that's the problem. Do not test a headphone 
in Doom. As much as I love Doom, I love Doom. The game's great, and the soundtrack is great. But you can't quite tell if that sizzling hiss coming from the pipe and then the growl, is it the right timber? Or timbre? It's timbre, I think, right? Hmm. Then you gotta put another headphone on and get that exact same scenario. See, a song you, that you know you can repeat over and over and over and over, and you know it and you love it. But you play a game, it's always gonna be a little bit different. There's gonna be a different place where that echo happens and you can't quite pinpoint it. So any person that reviews a gaming headset solely on games has no fucking idea what they're doing. So I did game on this. I say I gave them 8% of the time I spent listening to them playing games. Whether it was Doom or Squad or Bloons TD6, it was past as playing Doom. But um, this is an actual good headphone first. And then you do this, and it's a headset, and it's still a good headphone. And I like the fact that they make this extra cable, like just a giant, just, you don't have to see it. If you don't have to see it, it could just go away. They give you the nice, straight cloth cable. You do good build quality. You do good materials. Nothing is too shiny by default. You know, this and this don't quite match. If I want to get real specific on like the looks things like this and this match, but not this. The fact that it only has three positions to adjust. Quit it. And then. Uh, I gotta go. My day is ended, everyone. I'm being yelled at. But that's the deal with these. Uh, I will have a sound number for them in the description, and it will be released publicly tomorrow. Uh, you're going to ask me, I hear it, but Zeus, what about the uh, MH751s, the Cooler Masters? I think those are a smaller, more comfortable set. As comfortable as these are, they're smaller. Those have, I'd say, equal amounts of low end. Those are more closed than these. But just don't knock these off your Christmas list if someone says, I want the Elite La Atlas. There is one thing I have to do before I leave. And it's, it's a terrible, terrible thing. This came with it. And if you can read it, you can cringe with me. Here you go. Because that's the worst thing I've ever seen. And it ends on Together We Are Elite. No. Together you made a good headphone, and it just happens to play games. All right. That wallpaper in the description. All wallpapers, $2 a month on my Patreon. All videos, all reviews, $5 a month on my Patreon. About a week early, maybe more. $10 a month gets you into a private Telegram chat. If you want to ask me any questions directly, that's where to go. If you're a $2 or $5 patron, you can still message me on Patreon. Ask me anything you want. There's public Telegram chats. There's a Discord. There's an IRC that no one uses. And that's about it. I'm going now. We're going to clean this up. And I'll probably put this in the yard sale. So from the 1st to the 10th of every month, there is a piece of equipment that I've been sent or I've bought. And I'm done with it. And if you want to get this for $61.18, join the $5 tier, throw your bid, and I'll see you on the 10th. Thank you, everyone. Sound demo tomorrow. Tomorrow, sound demo. We're here now. Go.